Hello everyone, I'm here today with a new process video and I am working on some more photos from my Train Travels album and I have a double page spread going here. This is from the Christmas market that was at, was it Paley Plaza? Yeah, I'm trying to remember where it was. Yes, and extremely crowded. I don't know that I would ever do it again, but it was fun to see kind of, you know, bright, cheery holiday stuff. Um, it's not normally my thing, but I thought, well, I'll try it and go. And it was all right, but I don't know it's an experience that I have to, to repeat anytime soon. But I did get some fun photos. And this one on the right, I actually did it as a collage. And so my plan is to just find something like a circular embellishment to put in the middle here that's it and then it'll just go on a background and I can embellish around it if I want uh, but we'll see I don't want it to be too crazy busy and then over here I just have to figure out what to do with these I may embellish here since I have some empty space and then I think I'm going to cut down this photo a little bit and put a background on it just to cut down kind of from the photographic chaos that's happening here so I actually when I was off camera, I went through all of my six by eight papers to see if I had anything that would fit. And I was really looking for green because there's a little bit here, a little bit here. And then you see this in the background. And I feel like I need to bring that in because there's a lot of red and white happening. Well, I had nothing in my six by eights that would work. However, in my six by twelves, I have this one. And this is kind of busy. <laughs> okay, not kind of. It is busy, especially when you kind of go like that. Yikes, that's a lot. But I think if I mat this on white or even off white, because I do have off white kind of happening here, I think either of those would really help to tone that down and then I could use it. So I think I'm going to cut this down to six by eight, cut myself a slightly larger than four by six mat and go from there. In my white scraps, I found this piece. I'd obviously use it to print something else that and it didn't go well, so I saved it. But it's pretty perfectly sized for this all i have to do is kind of cut off that bottom part so i'm going to do that and then of course i need to cut down this so i have my trimmer here and that should be easy to do all right so i've got this ready here and i just want it to be right at eight inches and i love cutting my paper to six by twelve when i get it because I do some 6x12 albums, so if I were to use background for that, it's perfectly sized. Or I can do what I'm doing here. I can cut down to a 6x8, and it still leaves me a 4x6 piece, which is awesome. So I feel like I'm never really wasting paper that way, especially when I'm doing pocket layouts. So that makes me happy. All right, so I cut this down, and I have it at 4 and a quarter by 6 and a quarter. So I think... That's a perfect size mat because I don't want it really any wider than that, but any thinner than that would mean you really wouldn't see it that much. So there, I think that's aligned pretty well. Let's see. Yeah. So then we'll take this as our background and then this, and definitely that looks way better <laughs> with that white border. Then I feel like I can get away with using all those kind of wild circles there. But I do have to say I like the circle pattern. And I chose it for a reason because you can see like there are circles and curves to these nutcracker bases, to the drums, to the hats. There are spherical bulbs here for the tree. So it's a shape that appears in there. And I like how that all feels together. So I have adhered that down now and I actually um, centered it kind of a little bit more towards the bottom edge. And that's because I want to leave room up here in case I want to do a little pendant or something like maybe in that upper right hand corner. But I do plan to have an embellishment right here in the middle. And because when I look at these photos there is some darker blue happening around here, like especially over here, I think that's what I want to look for. I think I want to try to bring that in so it's not just red, green, and white. So I brought out my blue embellishments here that are holiday themed thinking that's what I was going to use. Or not embellishments, ephemera, I'm sorry, ephemera. But there's something circular in there and I really didn't like, like square on square shape and these are too big. They just, they cover up too much. And then I remembered I had these stickers 
and I'm wondering if I can get away with using this one. It has different colors depending on how you look at it, but it's mostly blue, but there's also maybe like some teal in there. And I'm just wondering like, is that gonna be way too big? But let's take this out of the package. And see, so if I, where's the dot here? There it is. I don't wanna get that on my photo. So let's take that off. If it'll let me, there we go. We'll put that over there for later. That's how it would sit in the middle. That's not horrible, actually. It's kind of hard to tell because everything around it is so busy. But I wonder if I used that one there and then maybe I could use this one, which has a little more green and a little less blue over here. I'm not sure how that would work because when I cut this down, that would cover up way too much here. But let me just peel it off see what I think if I were to actually do it. I don't mind it, but would it be better up here? Or maybe I do that here and then one of the smaller ones up here. That wouldn't be bad. You know what? Let's try it. Hopefully if I don't like it, I can peel it up again. I mean, it's it's loud, it's it's bright, but I don't mind it. So which other one would I wanna put up top? That's the question. I'll have to look at these for a little bit. I decided to put one of the other blue ones up top here because I'm thinking that over here, when I cut this down, I will leave some room at the top and then I can use one of these because they have both blue and green in them and I think that might be a good way to go so I'm going to cut this down and try that and see what I think of it. So I've cut down the photo and I have a three by four piece of white cardstock here and I've left this much of a border. I could also shift it up just a little if I wanted to give it a wider border at the bottom and then I'm thinking I can overlap that snowflake right here. So I put that down and I don't like it. It's too much white in the back. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna cut this into two three by fours, save one of them. And then on the other one, I'm going to cut a strip off, strip off to um, run it across the top of this photo. So there's a little bit of that matching green behind it and we'll see if that helps. So when I took the sticker up, you can see it did rip the paper there a little bit, but I'm going to take this strip here and put it right over the top and hopefully that will cover most of it. And then the sticker on top of that will help even more, hopefully. There we go. So let's see. So I'll probably have to put some adhesive on it because look what happened there. But let's just see if I overlap it like that. How do I like it? I definitely like that better. So let's do this. We'll put a little bit of mono adhesive on here to help with the part that got stuck to the paper. And then we'll do it right like that in the middle. Make sure it's fairly aligned there. Yeah. All right, I think that's better. I'm going to try one more thing. I hope this doesn't totally screw it up, but I keep this little set of stamps with me right in the drawer that sits on my desk because I use them all the time in a pinch when I just need a quick background. And as you can see, these are from Stampin' Up. Look at the date on them. I've had them since 1997. My daughter was born that year and she's 26. So that tells you how long I've had these, but I use them all the time and so I think what I'm going to do is just use a little blue ink here and maybe just do dots just on like barely on there and then maybe do some around here to just bring in a little bit more of that blue. So I definitely think that was the right way to go. Check this out. There's some up top and then down here and I actually got a little bit on the gnome going onto the photo a little bit, which I am totally fine with. 
makes it look more authentic that way I think and then I did the same thing over here I just kind of did it quickly I tried not to think too much about it so I have some up there I did one little pass right there barely touching the paper and then I did this corner and again I did get some on the photo but I'm totally fine with that I like the way it looks so let's see does this need anything else I don't think so. If I were to add anything, I would do it here, but I don't want to overwhelm this because there's so much happening. So I think I'm going to leave it as is. So here's another one finished for my train travels. Thanks for watching.